A valve for filling processes is mostly exposed to very high switching cycles. The wearing parts, above all the diaphragm, are subjected to extreme mechanical loads. The GameU660 diaphragm valve has been specifically designed for fast and high pulse frequencies and therefore has a closing limiter and opening limiter as standard. The travel stop can be used to adjust the closing force to the existing operating pressure. This means that the diaphragm is not exposed to the highest closing force of the actuator for every closing movement. The opening limiter is used to set the opening stroke. This limits the required volumetric flow. This optimizes the mechanical stress of the diaphragm at the same time, resulting in a longer service life, longer maintenance intervals, and increased operational safety. We will now explain how to set the closing and opening limiters. To set the closing and opening limiters, first remove the protective cap. After loosening the grub screw, the cover can be pulled off. The special bush underneath this, which is used to set the opening limiter, must also be removed. Underneath this, there is an additional screw and screw nut. The lower screw is used to adjust the travel stop. The screw above it is used to lock the nut and must first be undone and removed. The travel stop is adjusted using the screw nut. This can initially be released by turning anti-clockwise. This deactivates the travel stop. Now open and close the valve again once. Tighten the screw nut by hand and adjust in relation to the diaphragm size using an appropriate tool. This helps to relieve the diaphragm of mechanical stress. Depending on the existing operating parameters, the stress on the diaphragm can be reduced further. Care must be taken to ensure that the valve does not start leaking during this process. Once you have finished changing the setting, reinsert the screw and secure in place. Now place the valve in the open position and screw in the special bush hand tight as far as it will go. In this position, the full opening stroke is still ensured. Now return the valve to the closed position and fit the protective cap. After turning the protective cap clockwise, the opening stroke can now be limited. One full rotation reduces the opening stroke by one millimeter. There are markings on the valve and on the protective cap for orientation. Once you have finished making the adjustment, replace the protective cap using the grub screw. If you change the diaphragm at a later point in time, you must once again check and, if necessary, readjust the closing and opening limiter.